Hello spiritual beings. So today I'm going to be doing an altar tour. Um, I do altar tours every once in a while. My altar doesn't change much, um, but I do like to do altar tours as I do switch it up somewhat. So that's something that um, I like to record so I can kind of see the progression of my own altar. Um, disregard all the drinks I have on my bedside table. I get really thirsty and want a lot of different drinks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get started over here. I'm just going to kind of come around. Here we go. So, starting from the top, I actually have this right here. Um, I haven't decided, like, on a final name for for him. Um, I want to go with either Mr. Picklesworth <laughs> or Piggly Wiggly. Um, but I'm not sure which one I want to go with. So this I got at um, Crowhaven Corner and it was with the witch's balls and it's, I love pigs. So when I saw this, I just had to have it and all the proceeds go to, um, to I, I think an animal shelter. So I was super excited to come across this little guy and he is just a protection ball that protects my altar. I do have a few different protection on here from um, different witches, different places, just because um, I just really like, it feels like a community when you do like, you know, protection from other places, like you're not alone, you know? So that's something that I do here, but um, I'm just gonna get right into this. It's gonna be long-winded if I go over every little thing, so I don't think we're gonna do that. So we're gonna go right over here um, to this first shelf here, and that's just a big, huge butterfly candle. Um, a couple of my little poppets. Let's see what we got. She's so cute, I made her the other day. And then I've had this one for a couple months now. And that's just the ones I have on my altar. I do have them in other places throughout my house. This right here is um, actually I made origami roses for my bouquet when I got hand fasted. So that's one of them. I actually did like a rainbow effect to it and put that charm. Um, it wasn't rainbow effect <laughs> on my wedding day, but that's what I did for that one. I have so many of them left over. I wanted to at least put something on my altar that um, made me think of that. And then I have a bunch of my different oils. So these oils come from um, a botanica close by. And uh, I wish I could remember the name. And uh, I just love I just love her oils. And the lady there is so super nice. Abundance and happiness and I think I got um, attraction over here so yeah and more just some extra blood <laughs> let's keep extra blood around and then some spirit <laughs> and this guy he watches my um, grimoire so he's my grimoire's protector and this sits right there. And then just going up, uh, some artwork of mine all the way at the top. And then different moon cycles. Of course, the Last Supper, which I really love. My lights, little moon thing here. My pentacle, my prayer beads, my chimes. Right here, I hold um, there we go. Right here is where I have my incense for offerings. It's a little thing of salt for protection. And then the blue rose, which um, if you don't know, the blue rose is very dear to me. It means miracles. I like to use that in my spell work as often as I possibly can. And then moving on to the other side over here, I just got the poppet, some mojo bags of spells I did. Again, another one of the roses from the huge amount of roses I have left over. I made way too many roses for my hand fasting. 
And then these are all kinds of different incense and different things from um, the from Hex. I just love their little bottles and such. But I love using these. Like um, one I was using just the other day, actually. Where is it? It's for Guardian Angels. It's actually right here. Really nice. It's perfect. And then this one came from Lori Cabot Shop. I believe this could have been made by Penny. I'm not sure. But it's just a protection bottle. And then my Higher Beings, which I've showed before. This is my Mother Nature one. And I actually put her on a little pedestal. So that's something different that I did. I wanted their own a little altar space. So I put her on a higher pedestal. So there she is. And that is her chalice right there. And that is a special oil I wear when I commune with Mother Nature. And then I have my angels, my guardian angels, of course. And that one's just at this bottom pedestal. Here in the middle, I have my elements. There we go. Jesus and all these candles I just anointed so I literally just cleaned up this altar and I was like I gotta do another altar tour <laughs> it was time to clean up it was like kind of getting to that point where it just needed it to be done so that's what I spent my day doing today and then that is Jesus's chalice and then here is of course the universe which that is his pedestal right there. And this is just his candle. And yeah, so that's the top levels. Those are the top pedestals. And then I have these. And I have this issue where if I do anything that is um, like a seasonal, like, like even my pentacle here, so seasonal, right? <laughs> Obviously, this is a very much um, spring-like, but I love it, so I don't want to take it down. It has like a rainbow effect. I love it. I'm, I just, I could, winter, summer, doesn't matter, fall, I've got it out. Now I've got <laughs> my fall leaves with these little symbols on them, and I don't want to take them down. It's winter, but I just like, I couldn't take them off. I was like, I love them. Why should I have to part with them? So this is why I can't do anything seasonal. <laughs> it's like... Come on, lady, like you do not need that. <laughs> so they're on the other side too. And then I'm just gonna go down lower here and I'm gonna go over everything I have on the altar. So here we go. So right here I have some bamboo. I have a little charging plate with a bunch of different um, crystals on there. And when it comes to crystals, as you know, I may have said this before, um, I look at them as batteries, like, you know, they put quartz, crystal, and watches. Um, there's a lot of energy in crystals, therefore they're batteries. The more batteries I have on the altar, the better. But this right here is a charging plate, so I put like either my poppets or spells or, or what have you in the middle there and just have them charge. And then that is my crystal ball back there, a selenite tower, some malachite. Shave malachite. There you go. And that's marble right there. I believe that's with a ruby stuck in it. Pretty cool stuff. A big thing of pink tourmaline, of course. And then Palo Santo is usually what I use, but I believe that's Dragon's Blood Sage right there. And then this is really cool. So this right here is my um, snuffer. And this I actually got from a friend of ours who lives in Florida. It was very sweet of her to, to think of me and purchase that for me. Of course, all my crystals, my magical eyes over here. These I think I've showed you before. These are just like little symbols that I have that are my symbols that I take out when I, when I add them to spell work. My chalice. This candle, I always do this with my candles. So with the, with my working candles, I should say, is I always go with the rainbow ones that 
um, that meltdown. It's so pretty. Like it's all over that. <laughs> and I love it. I love the aesthetic. I'm not cleaning it. It's just so cool. So yeah, got that. Then we've come to the middle of the altar. Yep, so that's the middle right there. That's where I do all my spell work. Um, those uh, rocks that you see right there that are painted in a rainbow effect, as everybody knows that watches me, I love the rainbow. I find the rainbow to be the most magical thing. I have a lot of chromotherapy on here because I believe in it so much. Even my job, I have things that have <laughs> chromotherapy in it. So um, it's, it's very... Uh, um, something that I use a lot actually so um, of course the rainbows are very big to me so I've got them here and these actually go on the floor right before I carve out my sacred space I just like to have um, not just a metaphysical kind of um, barrier but something that I can physically see so those go down on the floor when they're not on the floor I put them right there um, this right here I've got my blood, my witch's holy water. Um, that has, that actually had my engagement ring in it when men had proposed. Those right there, those drawers are just mini altars that I take out and I do little workings in, especially private ones. So I keep those private by just putting them in the drawers. That egg right there that you're seeing right there. So the crystal egg. I'm trying to think of the crystal name, but I won't, I won't think of it. <laughs> Not until after I'm done filming, of course. But yeah, that crystal egg I actually purchased for myself. I put it on layaway. So we have this place called Myths and Maidens here. And I could have bought it outright. It was a little expensive though. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather purchase it little by little and then go in on my birthday and grab it as a birthday gift for myself. And so that's exactly what I did. <laughs> so I just love it. I cannot wait uh, for Ostara, I'm going to start using that during Ostara and probably throughout the year, of course. And then right back here, of course, this is another servitor of mine. This is Rainbow Bright. I usually put like little um, crystals in her eye sockets, uh, depending on what kind of working I'm doing. She helps me a lot with my work, um, helps me, you know, raise energy, and she also helps me remember what needs to come next. Also, my grimoire does too, <laughs> but yeah, she's definitely a big help. And then my pink cauldron, my pendulum, this little bell, and then here I have my oils and my magical waters, my Oregon pyramids back there more crystals. These crystals here are our hearts. A bunch of my heart crystals. And then again with the magical eyes. Love them. I have my wand right on the side here. I love this. I got my, got my little ganache here. <laughs> and more crystals. So I'm just kind of going to do an overview here. Of everything there's a lot of course just the way I like it and then I got um, two of these little tables you can get them for like 10 bucks at Walmart and they're great to do like little altars and stuff but I use these in my workings like I put my book on this one and then there's a one on the other side and I just like how it's like more compact but it gives me more room when I cast circle and fire up the altar so definitely worth it and then this of course is my invisible chair that i love so much my grimoire that i love so much <laughs> and i've done a grimoire tour actually this is a new grimoire if uh you remember my last tour uh, a lot has changed with my grimoire since that last tour even though that last tour was probably three weeks ago um, but that's just when I posted it. A lot has happened and changed and I didn't want to put a lot of this stuff in here because I'm actually going to be doing videos on them so I wanted to take some of that stuff out. So I will be doing some videos on some of the things I took out which I've already started to do. So yeah. <laughs> so down here where I put my legs, um, there's some room for my legs still. 
because I'm short. <laughs> and <laughs> um, yeah, so there's like this crate right here, which holds a lot of my um, bigger herbs and such. Um, and that like little round kind of gift box there is a Rose of Jericho that I use. That's my candle warmer. That's another um, one of my uh, servitors. That's Ginger. She helps with um, healing, like remote healing. I've got a couple of um, tall glass candles, some eggshell powder, long matches, which I wish I had discovered them sooner. I don't know what took me so long. <laughs> they are like... I feel like I've gone so long without them. <laughs> I will never again do that. <laughs> so that is something that I'm going to continue to buy. I love lighting these up strictly for calling on my higher beings because I don't really need them in my spell work. But for my higher beings, it's always like beat the clock, you know, with the matches. So I like the long stem ones better. And this is my backflow burner. This is really cool. So tonight I'm going to be doing um, another video that I'm going to attach onto this um, and you can see my whole altar just fired up and lit up and um, it's going to look really cool um, with that light. So, and then I'm running out of wine. <laughs> Some books that I often refer to at my altar, my spirit board and in this thing right here. I have my magical mirrors. So I have a white mirror, a black mirror, and a purple mirror in there. My doll parts are up here. My mortar and pestle. My cards. I got like a little um, meditation drum back there behind the doll parts and then some um, charms. So, yeah. So let's get into the drawers. <laughs> I was going to give you a quick overview of the drawers. So this is mostly my candles. I got a remote for my lights and a bunch of birthday candles, of course, that I love to use. Some tea light candles, some crow candles, some blue roses. Again, I love blue roses. I got this one from Metaphysical Shop around here just recently. So not sure what I want to use it for yet, but I'll figure it out. So... There we go. And since I'm already on this side, we've got all kinds of incense. This is just incense. I've got black back flow incense. I've got cone incense. And I've got lots of stick incense. And then this is for stick incense. This is for my cone incense. And I showed you my back flow burner. And then this one is basically my apothecary so it's got all kinds of herbs in there that I will not go over because we don't want to be here all day <laughs> so that's what's in that one and then moving on to the next side we have three drawers on this side top one is more random stuff like I've got dishes that I use in my spell work this is for my oils Palo Santo um, coffee filters, little baby glass bottles, um, paper, of course, um, petition paper, that goes there, some more glass bottles, some seashells, some pens, some bigger glass bottles, glass bottles, basically, <laughs> no, but I like a lot of, um, a lot of, like, random stuff that I do use in my practice. That's my top drawer. And then my second drawer over here is my baby doll to make some poppets. I've got um, some beeswax here. I haven't made any beeswax poppets yet, but I'm willing to try it. So I got some beeswax. <laughs> and then some poppet hearts in here, which are just um, little stones here. Baby bones. And then some glitter. And then last, I have this drawer, which is for basically um, my fabric poppets. And I'm not going to go over everything. This is actually for my paper poppets right here. So there's a lot of paper poppets in here and stuff that goes with paper poppets or sigils too. So that's all in there. 
And I think we are done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask and please like and subscribe. And um, I will attach my what my altar looks like in the nighttime to this. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.